Today on Sugar Spun Run, I'll be showing you how to make dulce de leche. Hey Sugar Spun Bakers, Sam here, and today I am so excited to be sharing another carefully tested and well-researched recipe. This actually hardly counts as a recipe because it only needs one ingredient and several hours of your time. Now, to make homemade dulce de leche, you are just going to need a single can of sweetened condensed milk. Before we begin, you'll want to preheat your oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit. We're going to be cooking our condensed milk in the oven for several hours to get that rich, sweet, dark and creamy dulce de leche. I've found the best and quickest way to cook your condensed milk is in a pie plate. You're going to want to grab the deepest one that you have. It's just gonna make things easier for you. Now go ahead and pour your condensed milk into this pie plate. Make sure you get every last drop. You're going to need a pan that is large and deep enough to hold your pie plate, as well as some water because we're going to need a water bath today. And I am using a large roasting pan. Now we're gonna pull this pie plate out in just a second to wrap it, but before we do that, you're going to want to add your water. Now pour this carefully around the pie plate. You don't wanna splash any into your condensed milk, and you want to add water until it's above the layer of dulce de leche. You actually want the water to be coming about halfway up the side of the pie plate. At the same time, don't add too much water because you are going to have to transfer this to your oven and you don't want it to splash into the pie plate. I like to add the water before covering the pie plate just because it's easier to see. But to make this easier to wrap up, I'm going to pull that pie plate out of the pan and then we'll tightly cover the surface with a piece of aluminum foil. I'm being really careful to keep that foil from going too low on the pie plate because we're going to need to be able to remove it midway through cooking and you don't wanna have to put your hands into that steaming hot water to do so. All right, now carefully return this to your water bath. And once your oven reaches 425 degrees Fahrenheit, we can go ahead and transfer it to our oven. Now, dulce de leche typically takes two to three hours to cook all the way through. I always check mine at two hours. So let's go ahead and take a peek. Now be very, very careful when you're removing the foil because some of that steam is going to escape from the pie plate and you don't want to burn yourself. If you're worried about accidentally touching that super hot water, you can use tongs to carefully peel the foil off as well. I always like to give this a quick whisk at this point too. So here are two hours. It's not really as dark as I like it to be, so I'm going to return it to the oven for another hour. Now, another important thing you wanna check at this point is you wanna make sure that your water has not dropped below the layer of dulce de leche. My water is getting a little bit low, so I'm just going to add more at this point. If the water drops too low, your dulce de leche can actually burn, which is a huge waste of time. Carefully recover the dulce de leche with the foil. Don't burn yourself. And let's take this back to our 425 degree Fahrenheit oven for another hour. All right, so with my oven, three hours is typically the sweet spot. So let's take a look at that dulce de leche. Again, you'll wanna be very careful. This is the perfect dulce de leche. It's a deep, rich brown color, so we don't need to bake it any longer. You're going to want to whisk the dulce de leche and it might look a little bit lumpy at first, but so long as you kept your water level at the right level, it should come, come together nice and smooth. Now, ideally you should let this cool a little bit before handling it, but I'm going to go ahead and pour mine into a container that I'm gonna be storing it in. Your dulce de leche is going to thicken as it cools. And as you can see here, it has a nice, rich, caramelly consistency and it tastes amazing. Now I will include some suggestions in the description below for different ways you can use dulce de leche, but of course you can always just enjoy it by the spoonful. I hope you guys enjoyed today's super easy recipe. And if you tried this one out, I wanna know what you think. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Mm, this is my favorite part. <laughs>